hey guys welcome back to another video as you can see i'm all by myself there is no tyler here with me he's down there waving at me <laughs> he should say hi you should come and say hi no yeah <laughs> he's going to put on a shirt guys <laughs> But yeah, um, hey, welcome back to another video with the Felty Things. We, as you can see, I'm here by myself. I just wanted to take the time out to talk about the process that of coming here, of living in America, what I did to come here, um, how long it took, and just like general tips and ideas and my experience, basically. Come say hi. <laughs> hi hello everybody <laughs> so yeah if you want to like jump in if i'm missing anything feel free to um yeah All please right. just hear and about so you'll jump in if i'm missing anything because really and truly this process was kind of him like me coming here it was all him i'm i'm truly grateful for all the effort that he put in to try for us to be together yes <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> See, you want to be in the video. No. Let's just be in the video. <laughs> but anyways, guys. So as you know, I lived in Jamaica. Um, just like three years ago, probably. I'm thinking in my head. I did not estimate, but around three years ago, I was living in Jamaica, and I came here recently and lived with my now husband i came over here on the k1 fiance visa nope not the tv show because every time i mentioned k1 fiance everyone is like thinking the tv show i didn't even know there was a tv show until i got here like i didn't even know but yeah i came here on the k1 fiance um visa I only knew about it just because my sister, she mentioned it to me because like um, at one point Tyler and I were talking and we we're like, how are we going to be together? You know, is it Jamaica? Is it here? What are our options? And then I started telling him, hey, you can like, there's a filing process. If you're interested to do that, you can do that. And I told him about different options and my sister mentioned that hey you know there's a k1 if you guys really want to like see each other sooner rather than later there's a k1 you can try that too because all i knew about was married and green cards so that's all i knew about my sister actually does paperwork and stuff like this so if you need help like finding about immigration information if you need help filling out paperwork you link her, she is very, very, very affordable and she can help you. So, yeah, Tyler's peeping on me, he's playing game. You're playing game. <laughs> so she's very affordable, link her and she can help you. It's best to be safe than sorry. And so um, we looked into the K1 and it just like stopped there on my part. We just looked into it and it stopped there on my part for the most part then my husband tyler <laughs> he kind of like dug into it way more than i did he got the information and then he started the process of trying to get me to come here for us to live together the k1 visa is basically you come to america as the person fiance or fiance 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 i'm not sure you come to um america as that person partner fiance fiance and within a 90 day period you have to get married to that person or you just go back home so it's kind of i liked it because what if i never wanted to get married to him what if this is not what i wanted or what he wanted so we got those couple more months to just like you know get to know each other more talk about if this is actually what we wanted if we wanted to actually live together you know so it gave us that period to figure out if we actually want to go through with it and yeah obviously 
she put a ring on it. Anyways, he went through with it. I mean, he wouldn't have, like, I wouldn't imagine us not going through with it if he did. He wouldn't have engaged, let's say that, if he didn't want to go through with getting married. Because um, I met his family, basically, and they're more like a family guy, family type of person. So he grew up with, like, family. So I wouldn't expect peck him to like try to initiate something if he wasn't trying to build on anything so i never really had much doubt in my mind if it was going to happen or not i just knew it was going to happen but anyways um he did all that process for me so i was in jamaica um i went back to jamaica after my after my um j1 so that summer I went back to Jamaica and I was engaged when I went back because he engaged to me the literally the night before I left to come back to Jamaica. He was like, will you marry me? I'm sorry we don't have a video for that, but we can go down memory lane about that. So he engaged um, the night before we I left to come back to Jamaica and then he started the filing process like, October and I got through with everything by June the following year like by June the following year I was here in America again so it took me like October September October November December January February March April May it took me like six months to like fully go through that entire K1 process and all we had to do we had to like get our documents ready he had to like fill out some paperwork which i'll attach down below um the link of the k1 um paperwork that you will need in case anyone here needs it you know good thing to look into but um in case you need it it's in our description box so you can check that out so we filled out a form he filled out the form because he did most of the work i literally he just like reached out to me and said han I'm going to need like your passport information, your this, and I just sent it. I did nothing throughout that entire process, like nothing at all, like nothing. I contributed to nothing, which like right now I'm saying it and I feel bad that I didn't like help more to try to be with him, but I just felt like he had it and I wanted him to be in control because I wanted him to want to do it. You know what I mean? If you know what I mean? I never wanted to be the person that say, you know, do it because I want to be here or whatever, whatever. Yes, I wanted to be with him, but I wanted him to be the one that wanted more, you know? So he worked for it and he put in the work and he got me here. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyways um so we filled out a form they need a proof of the relationship proof of the relationship like when we got engaged picture of the engagement ring purchase of the engagement ring we needed the receipt which luckily he kept so we needed that we needed proof that we knew each other family so luckily he came and he met my family before he proposed he met my mom and he asked my mom if it was okay to marry me which my mom said yes i guess because he did <laughs> and um we had a little picture there i had like spent almost the entire summer with his family so we had lots of picture there too um so they needed proof of conversation um proof of just an actual real relationship we had enough proof to send and we did um we filled out the form and we just sent in everything. We heard back in a good time, went in for the interview. We still brought every, because we made copies of everything. So we brought in the copies of everything that we made along with anything else that they wanted. And I went in for the interview. They just like asked me three questions, like where does he live? How did you guys meet? And something else that I remember and that was it. It was like smooth and then by June, I was here. So it wasn't a long process for me. Um, I honestly didn't even know about this K-1. We did not use a lawyer. It was just him 
just going out doing his research and i guess i think his mom helped him too they just like really work together and get this done so you can do it by yourself you just really have to read pay attention and fill out exactly what they asked for it's really not hard because we did not use any lawyer for any of the um paperwork that we've been doing so far um so yeah i was here by june and we got married july we got married july and the only regret after you get married you have to file for adjustment for to get the green card so a lot of people always get the green card to come here but i got the k1 fiance so the green card is you basically get married and the person file for you you come here and it's a much like simpler process than the k1 i would feel but the k1 is more fast i got through fast i'm not sure about everyone else i can only talk about my experience i got through like really fast while the green card would probably like take two years for it to like you know for you to like fully get through one year to two years but i got through like within six months for the k1 but the only thing is that the k1 after i came here i had to do like a filing for adjustment for a green card after we get married and then that filing you're only going to get a two year and then after that two year you have to file again to get a 10 year and it's just so much work so like if you have the patience and time i would definitely recommend a green card because you just constantly have to file for paper file for paper when you're doing like the k1 but um with the green card is like you just come here and just wait until a certain amount of time and then you can go for your citizenship boom 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 <laughs> but yeah yeah um so that that was my journey if you guys have any questions about like extra stuff as it regards the k1 i can definitely answer i know i was like all over the place explaining my journey coming here but that was definitely my experience the k1 coming here the amount of time it took the documents required and it wasn't too too bad because like you know it it was kind of like repetitive information over and over and over again for every document we have to file but it was just the time we have to take to file them that's like the tiring part but yeah um yeah that was my journey and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below um we are here to help and give you information if you need it um yeah and we'll see you guys in our next video thanks for watching we hope this helps somebody in the world felties out